Hello to you today. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'd like to cover the um, explo the exploded assembly workbench in FreeCAD. And what I have here is a is a, a assembly that I've uh, designed uh, or or put together. These parts are step files that are available on Thingiverse. This is a motor and a mini console frame mount uh, that I've that I've downloaded from Thingiverse. Uh, as well as the uh, 3D, the uh, timing belt pulley. The, these bolts are from the parts workbench and you can check my other video for how to use the part, part workbench. Um, so what I've done here and um, is created a um, assembly animation. So you can use this to just, de to just picture how an assembly is put together. So it's, you know, it shows the bolts from where they go and how it comes apart. But the beautiful thing is it also demonstrates, uh, visually animates how to put it together. And I'll show you how that works uh, now. So you'll see it will put the parts together in the order with multiple paths and even even rotation. You'll see this bolt is rotating uh, out of, around a bad axis, but this one rotates around the correct one as it's being put in for the final assembly. So it comes full with animation. Now the one thing I did was um, I um, did wrong was my assemblies are in the wrong order. So the play button here plays the assembly from first to last. So you'll see when I hit play, um, it's going backwards. It's, it's disassembling it. And you'll see it's going through each item through the list. So what I should have done was um, done the assembly in the reverse order. Now I can move these all around using this tool. So you select the item and where you want it to go before and click on um, the reallocate and you can move them all around. But I didn't think for the purpose of this video that was really necessary. So what I'm gonna do is with some more simple, with, with simple objects, we're going to uh, go through and demonstrate the assembly, uh, the, the process of using the exploder assembly tool. So I'm just gonna go into part design uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to the part workbench and we're going to throw out three cubes. Three, I think I did, or did I do four? Oops, I did four, so let me get rid of one of those. And we're going to, we're going to move them just to be next to each other as if it was a part with mating surfaces, perhaps. So this is just to, uh, just to demonstrate the part, the, uh, the workbench. Okay. And then we're gonna also add from the fastener workbench, I'm gonna add two, a bolt and a, um, and a nut for that bolt. Okay, so, and that will, we'll move those to the right, so they're not on top of those. And I, I won't do, for this one, I'm gonna move, se separate these so they're on the axis, they're they're on the same axes for assembly, but they're uh, set in their starting position. Whereas these I've set in, uh, I'll leave them in their uh, ending position. Not that it really, cause it just doesn't really matter. So what I want to show to you is um, is just basically how it works, and um, how to get things and how to do a multiple path. So I'm going to start with selecting the object. So to do an explosion you select the object and then you select a a face with the in the trajectory you want the object to explode so I found it works better when you select a face on the object itself so I'm gonna pick this face so now I've selected the object by picking this face and I, the second face I select I hit control and select the direction so now when I hit explode it explodes it in that direction now I want each of these to, to move twice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one again and I select a different direction. So I've selected it by selecting that plane and I picked that direction. So I'm gonna hit explode again. So now it has two trajectories. And if I hit play, you'll see it'll follow those trajectories. And then to, re to assemble it, you, you do that. Now, keep, keep one thing in mind as you're doing this. When you move the object, it is completely moved. So if I were to delete my trajectories now, this object is not, I can't undo that back to where it was. It, uh, it doesn't store these trajectory moves as a 
use uh, in user history because it's not user history. It's autom it's the trajectory the tool. So as you can see, so let's um, let's do another one. So I select that object and um, or let's select it and move it in this trajectory, and then let's move it in. Get a little mouse mouse jammed there in that trajectory. Oops. So what happens if, if you've selected it wrong, it just doesn't work. It doesn't tell you why it doesn't work. It just doesn't. So, and then let's do one final one. Let's do this one and we'll explode that downward. Okay. So I have I have each director trajectory. Um, let's look at the assembly here. So when you hit play, and I'm Keep, keep in mind I, I did it backwards again so um, when you hit play it's it's going to go through each of these groups and do the trajectory line in that group so let's do it so you see it puts the assembly together one item at a time okay and if I go in the opposite direction it goes backwards so now if I wanted to uh, change the order of, of these say um, so, so I want to put let's, let's put these two moves in, in the front. So I'm going to take group this group, the last two that I created, and I'm going to pick simple, and I'm going to do reallocate. So now you see that's moved. Now I'm going to pick this one and this one, and reallocate. Except that I wanted it the other way around. So that one, that one, reallocate. Okay. So now let's go back to the beginning, and hit play. And that did something wrong. Okay, I don't know what happened there. To be honest with you, uh, I'm not. I'm not really going to worry about it. What I suggest you do is is get the order right in the beginning, because um, uh, you know the one thing about the assembly workbench is editing is not really something that you're going to be doing much of. It's it's add the assemblies and then go forward. All right, so now I want to show you how to use uh, the the uh, assembly tool to uh, do a multiple move and a rotation. I'm not going to cover bolts. It works a lot, of, uh, much in the same way. Actually, I will. I'll do uh, I'll do an assembly with this. So I select the object, but for for the special bolt group, you have to select a ring, and then the face you want it to travel in. So that's um, that's. That's how you select that. But before I do that, let's um, let's uh, trend. Mm, I'm gonna break a rule. I'm gonna lie and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it together because you know what? For me, it's just easy to think uh, disassembly. All right. So so this is the bolts group. The bolts group wants you to pick a circular face. So you, it can just be an arc. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. And then the fa uh, a face for the that has the vector you want to travel so it's going to be this way so now you do your special bolts group and it adds a trajectory line so what one of the things that this gives you is the ability to do uh, special functions for this assembly only so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add revolutions and they've got that set up for you so now when this animates um, it's going to revolve as it installs Okay, so I love that. Okay, so like for in my in the one uh, my mini castle motor mount here, one of the things I did was I wanted to move it out of the way for when the carriage came in. So the way I did that was first I did my uh, revolve out, and then now I'm going to do my move out of the way. So you got to pick the object. And then the face you want it to travel in, face facing the direction you want it to travel in, and you can hit um, explode. So now when I animate this, it it's going to move it down and then in. If I did it in the right order, <laughs> let's get it exploded again. So these control where everything is, and these control the animation. So you can really add a nice effect to your assembly animations with uh, with the rotate. Let's get rid of these three cubes. So we're just working with the, and these groups. So we're just working with the bolts now. 
Okay, okay. All right, so. So the final thing I'm gonna show you, which makes this look nice, is we're gonna add threads to this. <laughs> and the reason I didn't do this on this on the mini console animation was because the threads add a lot of computing and my computer is too old and can't handle it. As you can see, it's taking a while just to add this thread. So you see with, with all those, it would, it would take too long. So let's run the animation. And of course, the only thing I did was uh, it's it's rotating the wrong direction. So what you can do, I think, is do a negative rotation. So let's try it. Okay, let's try that. And yep. So you can even make it, you know, clear that they have to screw it uh, screw it in. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, oh, the one thing, the other thing you can do is uh, is you can run it to only part of it. So say I want it to only run the first part, uh, just uh, just the screw in. If you do, if you select this, it'll run. Uh, let's see, it'll run just it'll run up to the one you selected. So you can pick out just a piece of the animation. Um, that's it. I I hope you get to get, get to use this. Uh, oh, the one last thing I want to show you is they have a example built in. Let, and that's hidden in the menu. So if you go to exploded example, exploded assembly, and then pick load example file. File. So this is like secret hidden menu. Not really. I'm gonna put that on YouTube as clickbait secret hidden menu for FreeCAD. Um, and this is a pretty pretty sizable demo. And kudos to the guys who made this. This is cool. Um, and if you run this, they just what they show you is. Uh, different rates you can animate the the distance it goes the number of steps and the time it takes and you can see the multiple directions that they're doing it just shows exactly what you need to do and the other thing you can do while it's animating is you can walk you can you can rotate you can look around see what's going on okay that's it I hope you love this video um, if you do subscribe I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing more and uh, make sure you like like the channel and share it and click on the alarm bell next to the subscribe button. It's it's down, I don't know, down in this corner somewhere. And um, that way you get notified of new videos. Have a great day and keep free catting.